Welcome to Golden Truth Tarot, my golden friends. Before I start today's video, I want to remind you that on my website, you can find jewelry made with the highest quality crystals and gemstones that I sourced personally from the prestigious Tucson Gem Show that was held in Arizona this past January. If you're interested in anything go on my website i have different types of bracelets everything is handmade by me you can also find different types of rings you can find necklaces earrings anything you might like also if you want to book a private reading with me you can book through my website the link is below this video on www.goldentruthtarot.com and some of the jewelry, you can find them on my Etsy store as well. Just type Golden Truth Tarot. Thank you so much for staying with me through this message. And now let's move on to the video. Hi, Scorpios. Welcome to your May reading. And let's get started with the first week of May. This first week is going to bring new opportunities, new doors opening for you guys. The chance for you to manifest your dreams, to manifest a new reality for yourself. You've been through a lot of difficulties. You've been through a lot of challenges. And now the universe is rewarding you. So from a time of, of, of things being in a difficult and you feeling like you're in a low place, now it's like a roller coaster. Now you're going up. You're going to a much better place. You're feeling more optimistic, more confident. And the will of fortune, it's all about about new beginning and you feeling lucky, you feeling blessed. This, this is going to be a great time for you. And I see some Scorpios might even invest in a new car or fix the car that you have. Do something for yourself. I see spending money on yourself, investing in your future uh, because you're you're confident, you know that that you are at a good place and it's only going to get better from here into into the future but we also have during may uh pluto the planet your ruling planet goes in retrograde from may 2nd to june 1st and when pluto goes retrograde a lot of things from the past start a lot of fears a lot of traumas from the past start coming into the surface and i'm feeling I'm feeling a state where you are very happy, very confident, but because everything is so good right now, you're going to have fear about, oh, this is so good. I, I, when something bad is going to happen, it's, it's almost as if you anticipate something bad happening, or it's almost... Um, a sense of comparing the past where you used to be at a difficult stage in your life where you are now. And because you're in such a good place now, you're going to realize, wow, I was really, really in a bad place back then. And, and in a way, you're going to feel proud of yourself, proud for being able to move from that dark place uh, but also you will feel there is also sadness and feeling sorry for yourself and feeling like nobody deserves to go through all of that all the things that you went through especially in the second week I see you feeling very emotional very very emotional uh, we also have a new moon a new moon in Taurus um, on May 8th and during that time, the new moon is all about new beginning, especially in Taurus. It has to do with everything that you value, security. So some of you, Scorpios, you went through maybe a difficult, a very, very difficult beginning. Uh, poverty, extreme poverty, um, not having a, sen a sense of stability, security in your family. Maybe you moved a lot as a child, or, or you did it, or you came from a family of a lot of trauma and and um, problems and, and conflict and and possessiveness and and um, some of you might even had a past of, of being an environment with a lot of abuse, substance abuse, and and, and physical abuse, and uh, and being now at a state where you're free from all of that. This is your new beginning. 
it's going you're going to feel relieved but you're also going to kind of compare yourself to everything some of you guys might even be in therapy i see in the second week and you might even talk about things from the past is going to come to the surface uh, it's going to feel very emotional very heavy but after you do that, you're also going to feel so much better and relieved. It's like cleaning a very dirty room, you know, cleaning your subconscious mind, cleaning your, your past emotional traumas. It's, it's difficult when you have to talk about certain things because in a way you relive them while you talk about them. You kind of go through them again. But once you do, you feel so much better and you feel better because now you don't have to be, you're not in that same place. You moved from that. That's in the past. Now you're at a better, at a better place because I see in the third week that it's you, those barriers, this is also going to help you love, trust others more, be more open, enjoy yourself more because you have built a wall around yourself you you were constantly in a shell almost protecting yourself not allowing other people to get too close to you because of the past things that have happened and how you've been hurt and you don't want to be in a, in the same position again but being in this place where you talk about everything, you go through therapy, life is working out for you, things are improving, you're in a place where financially you're making more money, you feel healthy, everything is okay. Now you can finally break down that barrier and feel more in peace and more confident with yourself and with other people as well. And this is going to uh, be very very beneficial for relationships any sort of any kind of relationship in love in, in in family with other people friends it's going to make you feel so much more warm and 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 welcoming towards uh, um, other people um, that's why it's also important to carry um, a crystal that is called obsidian for you guys, this is a crystal for the month of May. Obsidian is a volcanic glass, and the message is uh, is release your fears and negative uh, all your every, anything that you might fear or negativity that you carry within you that is stopping you to be the best version of yourself. So obsidian has this uh, quality of absorbing negativity from our body from our ele electromagnetic field so having obsidian as a bracelet or as earrings or as necklace it, within your body it's very it helps you release it helps that process of not just talking about things but also releasing it from from your energy field from your aura so i do suggest you guys uh, wear or uh, keep a piece of obsidian with you and use it while you meditate or use it while you're in therapy i do have on my website um, some earrings with uh, obsidian and uh, tiger's eye which is a great combination or you can find it as a bracelet as well um, yeah obsidian or or if you want to find just one piece of obsidian and, and carry it with you or uh, hold it while you're talking to to your therapist that's going to be beneficial as well but this is a great month for clearing clearing your energy clearing the past clearing anything that you've been holding on for uh, within yourself for a long time because after that there's going to be a time such a beautiful time of love and peace and harmony those scorpios who are uh, married or in a relationship i see this as a very beautiful time for you guys you're in a very healthy relationship. You're getting a lot of love and, and attention. And maybe you might have done this journey of, of going through therapy and everything. Some of you, because you want to be married and because you don't want the past traumas to carry into your new relationship, you want to start completely fresh, completely completely clean out of all of the negativity from the past and you want to create this beautiful loving relationship which I see this as being very very promising if you're not 
currently engaged, you're on the right path of being engaged or getting married soon or planning for um, or planning to get married. Those of you who are married are in a loving relationship. And even if you're single, Scorpios, I see that you're happy with the people you have around you, the family members, your children, if you have children, your friends, people who surround you, you're in peace. Your home life is very calm is very relaxed you don't have the stresses and the problems that you used to have now things are so much better at this stage where you are so you're definitely doing the right thing uh, you're doing the right thing also to keep your energy high keep your frequency high because people who have gone through a lot in the past they almost anticipate uh, bad things happening, even when everything is good, even when everything is great and and um, and your life is going the right way. There is this post-traumatic almost stress as as and uh, always being in that in that fear that oh something might change at any time and I'm, and I might have an issue or or some something might might happen. Uh, so working with that is very, very beneficial to just enjoy your blessings, be present in the moment, be happy with everything that you're that you're getting with how your life is is shifting in the in the in the right direction. And uh, yeah, carry obsidian with you. It's a it's a crystal that is connected with Scorpio and it has that um that ability to regenerate and to absorb and to help you release anything that is being stored, any past traumas that has been stored within within you. It's a great crystal for that as well. Um, so be kind to yourself, take care of your body, take care of yourself during this Pluto ret retrograde. But after June 1st, you will feel amazing. You will feel uh, even even better than ever before. You you're going to notice that right from uh, from from May. So once you do maybe a couple of session of therapy, or once you get to talk about certain things, you will see a difference. But especially after Pluto is uh, has finished this retrograde and goes direct, so June first, that that's when you will completely feel relieved from the past and uh, and uh, in a much better place emotionally, spiritually. So I wish you guys a great month. If you enjoyed this reading, please share it with other family members and friends. Follow and subscribe. It helps me a lot. Uh, thank you again for watching and I see you next time. Bye bye.